Dear friends, dear colleagues, first of all, I have to admit that uh, at the beginning, when the, the, the president of the Electoral Committee gave us uh, the number, I felt comfortable with the fourth. Uh, but I can assure you that to be the fourth was not so. <laughs> but let me start in thanking, thanking all of you, thanking uh, my team, thanking the volunteers of the Italian Red Cross that allowed me to do this wonderful journey and to be able to stand up here today. I've met many of you in the last days, weeks, and months. We had a lot of talks, and many of these talks were about change. We have to change. We are facing huge crises. We are facing new huge challenges. But the accent, in my opinion, in all these talks, and this is what I was thinking yesterday, should be not in the word crisis, in the word challenge, but should be in the word we. These two very simple letters, these two letters move away the responsibility from the one to put the responsibility on the shoulders and squarely on the shoulders of all of us. We have to act as one and putting on the shoulders like Atlas, being able to take all together the responsibility to lead the Federation is not up only to the President. It's up to all of us. And I'm saying this because being a member of the governing board in the last, in the last eight years, Unfortunately, too many times when my colleagues launched some surveys with all 190 national societies to receive some feedback about our proposal, about even the constitutional changes that we had to do and we are going to discuss uh, in a few hours. About constitutional change, we received only 42 answers uh, and suggestions and advices from the national societies. Is this the meaning of the word we? I don't think so. So when we think about change mind, it's something that, that we have really to do. And about the change of the federation, and about the change of the way we have to work together, it's about uh, also speed up processes. I'm very proud of the operational colleagues. I'm very proud of the colleagues of the Secretariat. I'm very proud, but of course, and we know, too many unheard cries, too many unheard cries of help uh, lies uh, in all the territories in which we work. And on this, we have to be focused. Not on the people only that we reach delivering, because for one that we deliver, we know perfectly that there are two that we are not able to deliver so far. And this is why we have to increase our capacity to deliver our capacity to work together. And to work together means, and we have to admit, that we must be coordinated better. But this is a, is a fault only of the Secretariat. Or we have to guess if we do want to be coordinated. How many times we go in a very big emergency, bilaterally, trilaterally, multilaterally. It's some time, it's something that we have to fix. We have to increase the capacity to be coordinated. But this is not only up to the Federation itself. It's something that it's up to all of us. This is the crucial point. Speed up the process means improve the capacity to be coordinated. And this, for me, is important. Then to speak with one voice, and to speak up, and to learn to speak better, because this world has changed, and it's changed the way the communication happens every day, in one second, sped up. The social media, everything is well known in a few seconds, and we have to, must be able to cope with the new dynamic of communication. This is something that we have to learn how we can engage. Remember, of course, the word of Yunnan, I don't want to be bought up by any opinion, any political parties, any nation, 
only driven by humanity. And this is something that we have to remember. Too many times uh, we are scared about talking loudly on behalf. It's not a motto, it's something that we have to do. If you read the wonderful book of Marcel Junot, the third fighter, the Troisième Combatant, is the one who fight for humanity, my dear. Is the one who fight for humanity. As if we fight for humanity, we have to learn how to speak up, how to engage our civil society, how to engage the government, how to engage our stakeholders. This is something. And again, moving to the national society, strengthen the capacity. It was all in the famous book that we all have read, The Memories of Solferino. Every one of us should read this wonderful book once in a year. We have to. Everything is there. When there is a vision, everything is there. And uh, Eriunan talked about the National Society. He wrote and rewrote and rewrote again seven times. How many of you know that Dunan wrote seven times the, the memories of Solferino? The last two years before he died. And in the last edition, he, he talked about uh, the National Society, talking about uh, how we should be, how we should act. Uh, and he said something very special. Very special. Don't think to the money. Of course, it's important, but as a visionary, it was. Don't think about the money. Think about to be well prepared and well trained. Then you will find the generosity of the people. So when we think about our role in our civil society, it's how we are able to engage and train and retain the volunteers. This is something that is very important. How we are able then to communicate our capacity to cope with the challenges as a Red Cross, Red Crescent with our civil society. These are very crucial points, my dear. We can talk hours about this, but uh, we have only a few minutes, like you. And uh, coming uh, to the One Billion Coalition, of course, the second question is strictly linked to the capacity to strength. And it's so important for us, the resilience and the capacity to strength, because now it's time to talk because the, the humanitarian scenario has changed. Last year in the World Humanitarian Sum, uh, Summit has happened something very important. It's called localization. So we have a unique opportunity to change the way and to change our mentality and the way we, uh, we face the disaster and the challenge. Local actors are so important. And uh, are we ready? But or in the movement, do we really want uh, this? And I'm saying uh, movement, because when we talk localization, I'm not so sure. So we have to see that everyone like the word localization. We have to improve our capacity to work together, to sit and even when we disagree, to have a frank and direct discussion. My dear, time uh, is expiring. Uh, but this is another crucial point about localization and the capacity to improve uh, the local network. To end uh, the era on which everything uh, is uh, coming from a, a top-down process uh, has happened at several times and too many times. Uh, it's time to strengthen the local capacity at regional level. There is a, a good motto in the Western Balkans, uh, neighbor self first. And we can use neighbor help first, neighbor train first, changing the good practices. This is something that is very important. We have to support this path. About me, I'm the president of the Italian Red Cross and I'm very proud. I'm a lawyer. And in my life, I'd always try to be a, a better person than the, the day before. And today, I have to say that uh, what I am, what I'm proud to be, is also because I made my mistakes. And I was learned. This is what I, was, what, uh, I always try to achieve. And I'm very proud about uh, the results. I've been uh, a lawyer, 
Unfortunately, I've been under protection six years because I fought mafia and organized crime. And I'm very committed to humanity. Many of you know me. And you know that I'm a very sincere, direct person. And uh, I'm moved with all of you, as all of you, by humanity and by love. We have a poet, and with this I'm going to close in Italy. It's called Dante Alighieri. Dante Alighieri wrote a wonderful poem, the, the Divine Comedy. And in Divine Comedy, this is a piece, bro, that's uh, L'amor che muove il sole e le altre stelle. Love that moves the sun and the other stars. And uh, if love has the capacity, has the capacity to move all of us, to brought us here, to be brought here, I think that love can help us to change our federation because humanity needs a stronger federation, a stronger movement, a stronger world made by Red Cross and Red Crescent societies. Thank you very much for your attention.